You are now watching Dragon Ball Fighters. Hey, what's up, my Space Cowboys? Jude here, and thank you for joining me for day 17 of the Dragon Ball Fighters Countdown Retrospective. With only a little under a month to go before the release of the game, I decided to start a short series that I would post a video each day as we count down to the release of Fighters, talking about various aspects of its news releases and the hype surrounding it. Today's highlight is going to go over a, maybe a bit of a shock to the system of when uh, ASW, or rather Bandai Namco, announced that there will be no Switch version, but there could be a Switch version if enough demand was from the fans. Now, before we get into it, I do want to mention once again that this information is coming directly from EventHubs.com. So if you guys wanted to follow me, or rather follow me on this journey, uh, go ahead and follow the link in the description box below. And here we go right into it. As we already know, Dragon Ball Fighters is set to release sometime in 2018 on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, with a beta coming sometime in summer 2017. There has been a no announcement of a release on the Nintendo Switch. The French website, Gameblog, recently conducted an interview with Tomoko Hiroki, the producer of Dragon Ball Fighters. An interesting question that came up was if the game could potentially come to the Nintendo Switch. There was apparently a perception that the Nintendo Switch version of Xenoverse 2 had to have some features cut due to power limitations. However, Tomoko Hiroki cleared up this perception by stating that it actually wasn't an issue. We did not run into any true difficulties for the Switch version of Xenoverse 2, said Tomoko. This seems to suggest that the Nintendo Switch would be able to handle Dragon Ball Fighters. I'd say that if we get enough demand from fans, we could make a Switch version of Dragon Ball Fighters as well. Although it may not release at the same time as the other versions, we might consider it. Fans have already heard the call. There is currently a petition going on that requests a release of the Nintendo Switch. This petition already has 11,815 of its 15,000 signature goal. Now, that's going to be it for the interview in regards to that information, and that's going to be it for Day 17 of the Dragon Ball Fighters Countdown Retrospective. Thank you guys for joining me, and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Why don't you guys share your memory in regards to what you thought when there was, or when you heard that there wasn't going to be a Switch version, unless there was enough fan support, and there still has yet to be an announcement of a Switch version. How does that make you guys feel? Are there any Switch users that are on the channel that are a little upset about this? Once again, another video will be releasing tomorrow and every day afterwards until the release of the game. Make sure to click subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest Dragon Ball Fighters news in the countdown retrospective. See you on day 16, and until next time, Space Cowboys. Bang. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, see you later.